Hey YouTube, this is CMRS again, coming to you with a video review on why throttle light. Um, this is a throttle where instead of going out and buying an NC Pro Cab or the smaller throttles, I forgot what they're called, the mini ones with the knob, you could get Y throttle light or Y throttle, the full version. And it does basically everything those do, but a lot better in reliability from what I found out. Um, all you need to set it up is one computer, one wireless router, cable going from your wireless router to your computer, and a serial cable going from your computer all the way out to your layout connected via command station. And so, once you got it all connected, you want to turn on your computer and open up um, Decoder Pro or Panel Pro. And once it loads, you want to go to Debug and go all the way down to the bottom of the list where it says Y Throttle and it will start, it will say Advertising Y Throttle Server Pending and then it will give you your Y Throttle's name which are the CMRS and a whole bunch of numbers and so then if we go back down to your iPhone you open up Y Throttle Light it will bring up a screen asking you the available Y throttle server so you click on that the screen will come up and flip over to here and then you here you're in oh, whoa, whoa. Mr. <laughs> chair you're able to enter in your any locomotive you want to drive so what was that locomotive's na number out there nasty well let's grab that switcher that's sitting in Oakland Yard which number is 10 30 one. And once you did that, you want to hit set to set it. And it'll go green saying you have the long address. During that screen, you're able to program it to a long address or a short address, um, dispatch or release. And then once you have that set up, you go to go throttle, go to throttle. It'll flip it around, and now you're at this screen, able to control your train. You have your pause, you have your forward, your reverse, your fast to slow, you have your number that you're going, your emergency stop seems, your horn, your bell, and your light. And on the Y throttle full version, you're able to have all the other functions. So for now, all we have are these three, I would say, key functions. Um, back on the computer, you can see that White Throttle is up and it shows my iPhone, Jonathan's iPhone, um, and shows that com shows the engine that I'm running 1031 long L for long address. And so, from what's been said, that White White Throttle can handle up. White Throttle's been tested with. 12 um, clients but it could probably take more so that's pretty neat so in case you ever want to have something else that's fine to use you can use your wide throttle so let's go down and run something with our wide throttle so as we get down We go down the stairs without hurting ourselves. Go around the helix, open the door, and we come out to the yard. We have 1031 sitting right there. 1031, let's put them going forward. We have a little headlight on, headlight off. Off, on, off, and on. See, I'm just going light. 
this is pretty respond pretty quick responding throttle I say so let's go ahead and move her up stop reverse stop and I'm just gonna give you kind of a so you have your pause And the cool thing is that it makes sounds that you can hear the clicking noise or the, if I press anything. So I can just go reverse, draw it up again, and then hit emergency stop. So it's a pretty neat toy to mess with. And you can see our wireless router is all the way up in that room. And I can have signal pretty much anywhere where my iPhone's still able to connect to that Wi-Fi wi hotspot. So you might be, want to get a better router to to have uh, extended Wi-Fi um, connectivity. But as you see, we are up here on the third level, all the way from the yard, and. I don't know if you can see it. Probably can't, but we're still able to control our train as I'm looking at it right now. Across the yard. So pretty neat. Thing is I don't like about it so far. That I haven't found out how to if I want to switch engines, I somehow can't do that. There's no other way. Um for me the way I found out how to switch engines I have to exit out of the application and go right back in and set it up. Um, I can't wait. Maybe they have that fixed in the wide throttle full version, but that should have been something that should have been in the wide throttle light just to at least change your engine number. But really cool application for the iPhone and definitely recommend, definitely recommend it. I'm going to go and buy the full version probably do another review and show you guys all the cool fun features that it comes with. So this is CMRS. Thanks.